I'm going to help you getting started with your district issued Chromebook. Before we begin, make sure that you have your Wi-Fi password and your student's username and password from the district. This may have been given to you by their teacher or you can find it on the Infinite Campus Parent Portal page. There are many different models of Chromebook in the district and the power button might be on a different side of the Chromebook. So once you find the power button, I'm going to turn this Chromebook on. You should get a page that starts to pop up with the Chrome logo. The first thing we're going to need to do, because Chromebooks require connection to the internet, is put in your Wi-Fi password. This should be prompting you to do so as soon as the Chromebook is ready. So I'm going to find my Wi-Fi network and enter in the password and hit connect. Once this is done, I'm going to hit next and this will take me to a page where I can enter in the student username and password. Click sign in when you're ready or hit the enter key and this will take you into the Chromebook. For the first time you sign into the Chromebook, you'll get a message that says all set. First time users in the district will also need to accept the terms and conditions for using a Google account. You'll need to scroll down and click accept. Now I'm going to click get started and when Chromebooks in the district first start up, they'll be taken to the ClassLink sign-in page. You've already signed into ClassLink and that'll sign you into the Chromebook and you'll be here on the ClassLink dashboard. You might find a few other apps and extensions loading when you first start up the Chromebook, and that's okay. ClassLink is where you'll find most of the applications on the internet that your student will need to use. The first one is Canvas. Because you've already signed into Cla ClassLink, all you need to do is click on the Canvas button and you'll be taken directly to Canvas. There actually will be another page where you'll need to accept the user agreement for Canvas if this is your first time accessing Canvas. When you're done, you can close out the tab. You'll find more content under the launcher and you can search for apps that may have been installed. And down on the tray here, we'll find Google Chrome. If this doesn't take you to ClassLink, you should be able to click on the home button and this will take you back to your ClassLink dashboard. Every now and then you'll need to restart your Chromebook to keep it up to date. Chrome updates work in the background while you're connected to the internet. To restart your Chromebook, you'll need to click down here in the lower right hand corner and restart or sign out. The Chromebook should prompt you to do this and it doesn't need to be done every day. You can simply close the Chromebook Make sure it's charged for tomorrow's use and open it up the next day.